What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Review where he cries you when they cry. So, to um, this is episode uh, four. I, I, this is episode five. Yeah, episode five. I think. Okay, uh, and with me as always, I have Blue Spade. Yeah. So this is part two of the Cotton Revealing chapter. So the beginning of this episode um, pretty much confirms to us that Mion was, you know, was one taking over Satoshi's place on several occasions. And uh, so it looks like, so it, the beginning of that episode reveals to us that M Mion uh, was uh, the one taking over for Sato, uh, for Xion Shift uh, at the what, what was that restaurant? Angel name Park. again? It was, uh, yeah. Um, and, and of course, it also reveals to us that she she was the one who also delivered um, the food to uh, to Keiichi's place at one point, dressing herself up as uh, Mion. No, not me on this. She, she on. <laughs> yeah, I kind of already figured this. Uh, like, I, I assumed this when we did the review for this episode with Go, and I thought it might have. It, it was most likely me owned. And uh, it seems like Keiichi sort of figured that. Or, well, I mean, I don't think he figured it out, but uh, he he gives it to me own later, uh, saying to uh, give it back to Shion, uh because you know he thought, it, or at least I guess he still thinks. You know, of course, it might be Shion who gave it to him. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, obviously with uh, Mion's reaction, at least in Go, pretty much gave it away that it was her. Uh, like, because why would she react that way if it wasn't her that did that? You know? Yeah. Like, I thought and then was, of course, yeah. At at the same time, Sadako is also taking advantage of this whole situation, uh, talking about that um, that Xion is going, you know, going out with uh, Keiichi and all. And this pretty, this she's pretty much like you know. Really, just poking the bear at uh, trying trying to trigger uh, uh, me on Tsunamizawa syndrome that she blatantly injected into her in the last episode. Yeah, it's funny because when I first started this episode, because th there's a lot of speculation about like, because we didn't actually see Mion get injected with uh, the with Inamizawa syndrome that she maybe she didn't. Uh, but of course, it becomes obvious later that she actually did get injected because we don't actually see Mion acting all that crazy uh, in the beginning. Of course, until Sadako starts trying to trigger uh, Mion's jealousy. And that's when she starts kind of like holding her neck and at one point like scratching her neck. Well, I think the, the I think the scene that really triggers this is um, at that one night when uh, Mion was looking over the shop and displaying the doll that she, that Keiichi gave to her. Yeah. Um, it, that one scene in which um, uh, it went with Keiichi and Xion going out on a, supposedly on a date with each other and then and then Keiichi ended ended up buying the doll, uh, you know, for Xion. And then, of course, that's when uh, the syndrome ends up triggering triggering inside of Mion afterwards. Yeah, um, yeah. She actually sees sees that for herself, and of course, begins to start to get jealous. Yeah, um, I mean, there, there were some scenes they from uh, from this part this arc and go that they did kind of skip over, like. Uh, mm -hmm. Keiichi having like Oyashiro Osama's curse explained to him, which I I guess is I can understand why they did that because it's not really necessary. Um, so there there's some stuff they cut out, so they pretty much just left in uh, mostly new stuff. But then there were some other things that we have seen already, but it cuts more back to uh, Neon's perspective and also Shion's perspective. Yeah, n including uh, the what was it during the Watanagashi festival in which. Uh, Mion asks Sadako where uh, Keiichi is, and of course, you know Sadako just you know pretty much continues to poke the bear, saying, uh, "Oh, Keiichi with is with Shion again." And then like, you know, this pretty much like dry, you know, literally almost drives Mion to the edge at that up to that point. And then I think shortly after the festival, uh, we see Shion uh, being uh, driven driven back home, and then she's given like. Um, Oh, we see her being stun? driven there too, which I wasn't. I, I guess that scene was only there to introduce her, her bodyguard, which mm -hmm. I don't really think we've seen up until now. No, I think yeah, or, this or, like it's wasn't it the, I. I remember that same bodyguard guy like at the end of um, uh, Higurashi Kai uh, when he was well. When he was, no, no, no. I meant in it, we haven't seen him in Go. Um, oh yeah, 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 I, yeah. So yeah, this is the first time we've we've seen we've actually uh, physically seen him, but. Um, uh, but yeah, so at, at, also at the same time, um, we also find out uh, what Tommy, uh, what Tomitake and uh, Takano did 
um, when when they ended up stealing the you know the truck to escape um, Hinamizawa from what was it the the mountain dogs what was it the mountain the, mount, the mountain dogs yeah yeah uh, uh, so yeah right so as we know like Takano was in the original series the leader of uh, the mountain dogs or this like military group um, but of course in this one she uh, technically because it takes place after the uh, uh, the timeline in which she sort of like gave you know gave herself up or you know uh like in the original series uh she kind of relinquished that role so now she's trying to run away uh with uh, mm-hmm. tomatake yeah and so- soon afterwards uh the uh the mayor the mayor ends up getting questioned by oishi about uh what exactly happened and of course we we don't get a lot of what happened you know they they just pretty much run down everything you know that we already know so far but we still don't know what really happened to Tomitake and Takano after, after that whole event maybe hopefully we'll get an idea maybe by the next episode uh but so so far it's like the exact same thing we've you know that was run, run through us like even uh during Higurashi Go yeah it did provide more context at least for uh why they ran away mm-hmm. um but uh, so I should also mention like near the beginning of the episode I think they have the uh uh, the, the curry making competition uh, that they kind of skipped over actually and go um, <laughs> we actually get to see it here and it's not really an important scene but this is actually something that was lifted from the visual novel uh, I do remember this this part of the game uh, it was of course much longer in the visual novel and there was much more shenanigans going on um, including Keiichi like striking up a deal with those two kids um, <laughs> and uh, but they just kind of cut this part in half and showed like some of the things that happened so at least we actually got to see it this time yeah. i guess because some people pointed out that like they uh they, they cut that part of in go but they just kind of referenced it um but here we actually get to see what uh see it happen mm-hmm. yeah it, it was it was kind of, kind of and a, it's also kind of just adding to uh, uh to, to the whole like i guess running gag with uh chie sensei being uh this curry curry enthusiast or whatever um mm-hmm. which is like a running joke in the visual novel but it doesn't seem like it is so much in the in the anime because she is not as prominent of a character mm-hmm. yeah but okay well uh anyway so so soon uh, i think uh soon as uh Shion gets back home she she ends up getting questioned by uh Uishi later that night uh talking about what what exactly happened um uh, like she, he a- he asked like uh, what uh, that he saw both um, her her and Keiichi uh, sneaking into the uh, what was it the Oyashiro sh- uh, shrine yeah the, the yeah the shrine and then of course soon afterwards um, Shion ends up calling uh, Keiichi about uh, what happened during the festival and it, you know this is the exact same conversation that we've seen uh, back in Go but you know this time it's under. Um, Xion's perspective of what's been happening and uh, of course at the same time Mion is uh, overhearing the same conversation uh, with uh, Keiichi and Xion and this pretty much drives her over the edge by pretty much confronting Xion af- after this and then pretty much uh, stunning her with uh, with a taser and then just you know just pretty much strangling her to death soon afterwards yeah, she tases her about three times and for before just like strangling her to death. Um and then it seems like after she strangles her, she comes back, I guess, comes back to her senses and realizes what she's done. Um but it, even even after she came back to her senses, she just goes right back to being uh I I suppose under the influence of the syndrome. Um and uh she she just pretty much afterwards says like you know after you know just kind of being sad over killing her own sister she's like okay well now i need to uh get, uh, get rid of uh of grandma because she might uh she might be like or she's the one like pulling the strings or something like that um mm-hmm. so i need to she needs to be uh she i need to get rid of her uh so she goes to her grandma just like it tases her like you know just tases her in the neck um I suppose just killing her, but you know that's uh, that's pretty much how this episode ends. Is just her killing her grandma. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean the, the episode just like you know abruptly ends. But you know, of course, um, you know, I mean we still get another episode left just to 
really find out what. Yeah, what, I, I will uh, say I was kind of glad the that the Shion death wasn't as brutal as I thought it was going to be. Uh, it it I felt like it was leaning in that direction for a bit, but it's just it was it wasn't quite as bad as a uh, as is like that one episode with uh, Rika getting disemboweled with the uh, the ceremonial like that ceremonial <laughs> tool. I mean. Uh, that, that's probably the most graphic it's in this series has gotten honestly mm -hmm. um yeah i mean uh but yeah hope oh yeah definitely this you know the we're finally getting you know I'm, I'm really liking you know how this arc is really starting to answer a lot of our questions as to what happened mm -hmm. and ho hopefully we'll you know we'll be given more context as to what happened by the next episode uh because if we remember by i think it was the the, the last episode of that um of the other arc, uh, we noticed it was uh, the mayor who goes missing, and then there was uh, Rika who also goes missing without any explanation as to what happened to her. Uh, so, ho hopefully, like uh, we'll really get to see that you know play out by the you know by the next episode soon after that. Yeah, I mentioned this to Spade before we started the review too. Is that it's kind of funny how like Mion going crazy is sort of. It is is sort of similar to how Shion went crazy in the original series because it was uh, with the original series it was Shion crazy over because it was uh, because of Satoshi or being reminded of Satoshi um, mm -hmm. and here it's like Mio and uh, going insane because of uh, Keiichi um, uh, with and and a lot of it too like it, it's both sort of because of the same thing which is like unrequited love I guess. Um, so I, I found that kind of interesting. Um, mm -hmm. And also, like, pretty much the same people end up missing, you know, just dying. But I, I guess in so, uh, slightly different ways. Uh, Shion seemed, or, you know, Shion seemed to more revel in torturing them. Whereas, like, Mion, I guess, is just going to kill them, like, uh, without really torturing them or anything. Um, uh -huh. But it's pretty much like, yeah, like, it seems like she's going after the same people. Uh so I find that interesting too. They're they're kind of like parallels of each other, um, which yeah. I guess makes sense considering they're twin sisters. So um, mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I'm looking too deep into that, but uh, it, I, I guess you just kind of notice that. Um, but uh, yeah, it's uh, I, I thought this was definitely a good episode. Uh, it seemed to go by pretty quick, actually. Um, I mm -hmm. guess just because you know there there were some there were a lot of new new scenes too, but uh, I, I guess it kind of also feels that way because they were also cutting some things as well like you know from what we saw in this arc and in, in go and I, I guess i can kind of understand why some scenes were cut uh we don't really need to see the scene of keiichi having oyashiro's uh oyashiro's curse explained to him again um yeah it's, it's, although i guess you almost, could have you maybe could have added a little bit to the scene that happens after that because if you remember uh the scene after that was like shion giving keiichi like some tea and then like me trying to do the same thing and then her i guess being kind of jealous because she owned was the one to give it to him. Um, mm -hmm. So I guess they could have expanded a little bit on that where just kind of building up uh, Mion's jealousy or something. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I, I don't know if that was, was really necessary. I mean, yeah, I, I mean, you could have cut it, but I mean, yeah, it was, I, yeah I, I feel like I, they could I have thought, done something with it. Yeah, I thought what was shown here was I, I, I think it was good enough for, you know, for us for us to really know what happened, you know, under both Mion and Shion's perspective. Mm. And give me a little more context, but what I'm definitely looking forward to is uh, is the next episode in which it will finally reveal like everything that happened up you know up to that end uh, that was pretty much kept from us uh, from KG's pers perspective. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I'm pretty sure the next episode is going to show some of the some people like Kimiyoshi the mayor being killed by Mion or something, or some mm -hmm. of the other people she killed, o yeah, or just um, I, I, I wondered like. Do, do you think she was the one that killed Rika, or do you think that Sadako had something to do with that? Um, okay, I think. Well, yeah, I did have a chance to rewatch that old episode, um, you know, just a few days ago. So I think, like, when um, o Oishi was uh, talking to Keiichi, so uh, like, like I said er earlier, like Ordeo, uh Kimiyoshi, and Shion were found dead at the bottom of the well in the underground bunker, and then Rika was dead inside of a locked silo and then mm. Mion and Sato were both found dead beside each other in uh in in the Sonazaki res residence yeah so, I mean I, I I feel like I have a 
basic idea of how like uh that might have gone down at least because i mean obviously i'm pretty sure this happened after me and left keiichi in the cell uh she was going to go out to confront the mountain dogs maybe she ended up killing some of them and uh shio or not shio but uh, sadako uh confronted her at some point and uh i i don't think i don't know sadako may have died but of course sadako is also a looper so it, it's not really gonna matter if she gets killed um in yeah so i mean it, it could be that they both ended up killing each other or something like that um maybe it did happen the way that uh we saw and go where they both died but i, I i'm kind of leaning more towards it because it people were pointing out it looked kind of like a setup so it was probably more likely that sadako somehow got the upper hand and killed her and just for whatever reason make it made it look that way um mm -hmm. so i am leaning more towards that um yeah but yeah i'm not as for how rika died i i, I want to say it was probably sadako um it, she, she has more reason to kill Rika, but I mean, it, it could have been Mion. You know, M Mion at this point has lost it, so it's possible. Like, yeah, anybody that poses a threat to Kei, she, she, will, she will get rid of. Mm -hmm. um, although I'm not really sure what threat Rika would pose, but I guess she would, in her crazed mind, she'd probably come up with something. Maybe, maybe the, you know, the members of the Sonazakis um, know that uh, Rika has something to do with the Hinamazawa syndrome. Yeah, I do remember and in so the like, original series, like the Sonos. Yeah. Well, the families, like some of the families, like the Sonazakis, don't have good relationships with certain some of the other families. So, I mean, maybe that it might have something to do with that. Um, but I, I, I know especially they don't have a good relationship with Sadako's family. Uh, they, mm -hmm. they hate, they hate the Hojo family, uh, which of course has gone over in the third arc of the original series, and of course in Go. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, but yeah, I don't. I don't really have too much else to say about this episode. I thought it was. I thought it was really good. I was especially near the end where we actually get to see uh, Mio and just kind of pretty much lose it um, and go crazy. Um, maybe not exactly this. I mean, it is a little bit different from how we saw with the you know Shion going crazy like in the original series. She she's not as uh, she doesn't seem quite as unhinged. I suppose like she seems much more in control. Uh, but she's still also just out of her mind at the same time. Uh, but it's just, I guess, not in the same way. Uh, Shion was definitely just more like, it seemed like she was more reveling in what she was doing. Uh, Mion doesn't seem to necessarily take pleasure in it. Uh, she's, you know, in her mind, she's just doing it to protect the Hichi, I guess. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I thought this was, a, this was a decent episode. Like, it, you know, it gave us, you know, quite you know some answers that we kind of already suspected like with Mi uh, Mion taking Xion's place on several occasions and then of course uh, you know sh showing us uh, what happened to Xion uh, at one point which was pretty much omitted from us in the origin uh, in the Go version yeah I like that we're actually seeing uh, the deaths as opposed to the original series where we saw none of what like pretty much none of these characters die so mm -hmm. that was one. Of the, that was what I really didn't like about this arc in the original and go, um, but I definitely prefer this one just because we actually get to see what happened instead of just hearing about it. Yeah. Um, um, but yeah. But yeah. So, so mm -hmm. yeah, we'll we'll have, we'll have to wait until like next week to find out what happens. Yep. Yeah. So until next uh, Thursday, we will see you all next time.